A ghost can be a lot of things. A memory. A secret. Grief. Anger. Or even guilt. But in my experiences, most times they're just what we want to see. something hold on that was weird it looks like when the lights on when the light is off it looked like something was there that was freaking weird hold on I want to see what that was I don't even see it anymore here. like when the night's on. Alright. Well, in the night vision, it looked like something. It just seems a lot quieter than what it was before. What I do have this time is that I do have a recording box. Uh, it's actually a little cassette tape, which is the best ones are the cassette tapes. And you can record back and can record uh, EVPs. I want to give a quick <laughs> shout out to Christine for giving me the idea. She told me about it on my Patreon. I'm like, oh, you know what? I'll try that. Thank you, Christine. I appreciate it. So I'm going to be using that tonight, let alone the spirit box. And... There's a bird in there. That scared the hell out of me. Which this place is very beautiful as it is. That being said, let's keep exploring and seeing what I get. Because I'm already hearing a lot of creepy noises. Which I'm confused whether if it's echoes from outside or not. And I also want to use that cassette tape. Because I think I'm going to get a lot of creepy EVPs on there. I know you guys have been asking me to use EVPs and I'm... Um, we're doing it. We're, we're totally, I should have done it earlier and I didn't do it sooner, but we're doing it now. Let's get into it. Here you go. 
to see the bench. But I don't see anyone. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go actually into one of the tombs and I'm going to take out You can hear a lot of the noises from outside but what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into one of the tombs and I'm actually going to start uh, doing my EVP session. I'm going to be recording with the tape recorder seeing what I can catch on that. Hopefully I can get something paranormal on there and then probably do a spirit box session and we'll start off from there. This is the little cassette tape thing. <laughs> it's a 2X recording time VOR Sony, in case you guys are interested. There's like a little trick to this. You gotta, there we go. I think the thing is running out of tape. My name is Frank and I just want to see if there's anybody here that would like to communicate with me. Can you tell me your name? So I can catch it on the radio? Can you give me some sort of sign that you're here with me? Sort of sign that you're here with me? Is there anyone here in the room with me that would like to communicate? something weird. Tell me your name so I know who I'm talking to. My name is Frank and, I, and I'm just doing a video here. Is it okay that I could do a video? I'm rewinding the tape. I can't I can't tell exactly what it is that I'm hearing. It sounds more like a like a muffle or something in the in the background. And I don't hear any cars passing by either. So I don't know if maybe it's picking up. Okay, let's try this again. Tu quieres hablar conmigo? 
Do you want to talk to me? Okay, I didn't, I didn't catch anything on that one. I, I didn't hear anything. If you guys hear something that I don't hear, please let me know in the comments. Um, Mi nombre es Frank. Y yo vine aquí para hablar con alguien que quiera hablar conmigo. ¿Está bien? I literally got someone talking in the background. It sounds like they're saying something. I'm doing a video out here and I just want to make a, just to record what I get while exploring this area. And I'm just curious as to what evidence I can find. Is it okay I could record? I'm seeing a lot of moving stuff with the night vision, which is really interesting. Can you tell me your name? Wow, I'm seeing like a lot of moving orbs on camera. I don't see it in real time, but only through the through the night vision. around to the second floor area listening for any anomalies this is where I was hearing the screeching sound on one of my live streams from a, a bird that freaked me the hell out so let's keep looking around and seeing what we can find I'm not using any lights so you're just getting straight night vision or just like a night cam type of look Now that I notice that 
this might have changed the dynamic of this. Those birds are actually getting louder in the other side of here where that car is at. There's like a truck that parked there last time. I don't know if this... I don't know if he's on foot, but his lights are off. And I don't feel safe being here having some random guy walking around. So I'm gonna go to the other area of this place. But um, those birds could be a clear indication saying that something is coming and the birds are nervous. So I'm gonna make it back to my car. All right, the light is on inside the car. I don't know what they're doing. Oh, Hold on. I'm actually gonna see if I could. I don't know if they're doing the nasty or they're spying on me. saw me looking I only got the night vision out not me stand by I'll, I'll see you guys back at the car there he is I'm just gonna act like a normal average citizen but it's probably gonna freak him out with my car. All right, I'm gonna go back to my spot and just kind of camp up there and see what happens if he comes closer to me because uh, definitely don't want to get robbed. I'm just gonna drive away from him and see if he comes following me. All right, now this guy's directly in front of me. Still driving. That is interesting. I don't know what that's about. The last time I was here, I didn't park my car specifically in front of the tombs that I usually do. And he drove by, didn't see the car, but he left shortly after that. The thing is when he sees my car parked there, he always drives around in a circle. I didn't see him drive around this time or yesterday, but he always drives around in a circle, parks right up there and he sits there and watches me. Um, and then what's weird is that when the lights go off, I don't know if he's on foot or not. I really want to make this a paranormal investigation, but it's hard for me to focus when I feel like I could be in potential danger. Right now, I am going to be heading to the crime scene part of this graveyard, and I'm a little bit nervous on it because I did a live stream, um, like three or four days ago. One thing I noticed is that when I drove my car into this area, towards where the crime scene is at, something weird happens where all of a sudden my sensors will start freaking out or bugging out, saying that somebody's around the car or something's close to the car. I think it freaked us all the hell out. And uh, I'm about to go in it alone this time to see what happens. This is the little area in here. Oh, that is so creepy. That's the crime scene road. You can't even see to the other side. Holy crap. Alrighty, I'm gonna go drive in through there. Let's do it. Let me switch over to my other camera. Debating if I should get out of the car. I know I felt ballsier doing it with people in the car on the live stream, but it's just I'm surrounded by forest here, which freaks me out a lot, but um, let's just do it. Let's do it and just get it over with. This part freaks me out the most. I actually avoid this area just because it's just freaking eerie. It's spooky. You go in there and it's just a straight dead road. Alright. Holy crap. I feel safe in the truck, but it's coming out of the truck. That's creepy. Look. Oh my god, I ran over something. It just freaked me out.
still waiting for my thing to say something. See if it notices anything. I'm gonna turn. Nah, I'll leave it on for you guys. Oh my god. I just don't want to hear any knocking. Try here actually is to well, put the car here. I'm not gonna move it. Let's see if I could replicate what happened last time. Um, can you come close to the car so that way I could I could probably catch you on the sensors or something if you can. Maybe I should have done that before, <laughs> but I'm doing it now. Come on, you could you could come closer to the car. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little bit freaked out. There we go. I'm a little bit freaked out because I... I think those were probably my brakes. There we go. I think it was my brakes. It was my brakes. I'm not even getting anything on the sensors. So far everything is just normal. Can you get closer to the car, please? I came here before and I and I got something which was really creepy. I would appreciate if you could come close. I'm a friendly. Oh my God. Can you do it again? Come just a little bit closer. I'm only trying to see what I can catch on camera if you can. I don't mean any harm, I, I, I'm here to help. This is cool, but freaky at the same time. Um, are you friendly? Would Would you like? Could you tell me your name? And maybe I could get you on camera. All right, I'm actually gonna start driving forward. I got goosebumps. I'm gonna turn off my high beams for now. Just because there's somebody's house over there I don't wanna interfere with. Alright, 
I'm going to start recording on the night vision so you guys can see what I see on that. Let me turn off the lights. There we go. All right. Turning on the night vision. My hiding beans are back on. You guys could probably see a lot more now. This is creepy. I'm gonna turn this off so you guys can see better. Can you come closer to the car, please? It just gave a sign that I hit something and I did not even hit anything and it disappeared. What? The whole car logo thing was red. There's a little car logo that pops up here and if it hits red it's because I hit it. And I didn't even hit anything. Can you come, can you touch the car? Okay, I'm gonna start driving. I got goosebumps. All right, I'm gonna actually get out of the car and start looking a little bit. I think I just caught something on camera. What? Alright, I'm gonna actually get out of the car and start looking a little bit. What? I think I just caught something on camera. I just saw something on the night vision, which was really creepy. Something just went like that into the air. Now I'm scared to go out of the car. Let's do it. I'm gonna do it. Is there anybody out here? Can you say something so I can see you or hear you? Alright guys, so at this point now, I'm going to head back to the car, and I'm probably going to wrap up this video, and uh, I just don't feel safe out here. I feel like there's so many ways I could get attacked, but I'm going to start heading back to another location where I feel just a little bit more safer, and we'll wrap up the video there. And if you guys can, let me know if you think I should come back here and keep recording and see what I can get. Uh, it's up to you guys. I, I want to make sure I do locations that you guys enjoy me doing But let's wrap it up and head to another location so I can finish up over there. Let's go All right, so I'm actually recording right now and There is something above Where I'm about to do my outro at look at that. There's another one over there That is not a plane I do not know what that is. All right, if you look, you can see the lights in the sky right now. That on top of it is an airplane. You can see it flickering. Right now it's going out behind some palm trees. Right above it, that's a plane, the one that's on the top 
the very top is a plane. You can see it probably a flickering of light. But the one thing in the bottom isn't. Thank you for watching Franco TV. I hope you guys like what you saw. Um, I did have a couple of creepy anomalies that happened here. I tried using the new Sony recorder thing. It's like a cassette tape, which is 1986, and it seemed to work. I did get some weird sounds from it, which I would like to kind of try more. I, I want to do more in-depth look into that and see how that works. Um, I hope you guys like what you saw. If you guys want me to come back to this location, let me know uh, in the comments below so that way I could see if you guys really want to recommend it and I could probably pre-plan for it into the future. I'm working on a new location that I'm going to be working on going to, I think this following weekend, to New Orleans. Now there's a lot of creepy ghost phenomenon and creepy backstories that have taken place in New Orleans. So it's something I'm working on. I hope you guys like that one as well. But again, if you guys have cool locations you want to recommend to me, please feel free to let me know. Also, in the comments below or DM me on Instagram. I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, and please smash that like button if you can. It does me a lot of help so the videos could get featured more and hopefully brings more of, a, of an audience that likes this kind of stuff that I do. But that being said, Thank you for watching. I love you guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.